Today we do some interesting experiments in Super Mario 64. If you edit Mario's vertical position to be a bit higher than normal, he runs around like this. He looks like he's constantly slipping on a banana peel and he's about to fall backwards and I absolutely love this. If you jump while you are an edited Mario like this, you float along like an astronaut in zero gravity and you actually have no control over Mario now. We bonk and then we start getting pushed back floating along. I was wondering how far back Mario would fly. Would he keep flying back forever? He flies through walls and then suddenly this happened. Yeah, Mario is a bit stuck and he's bonking back and forth there. You might remember this upstairs room with the mirror in Princess Peach's castle, and you might be wondering what happens if you go through the door on the other side of the mirror. If you use hacks to get to the other side of the mirror, you'll see that you can't actually walk down to the door. The floor actually extends up above here. You can exit through the mirror back to where you're supposed to be, but you can't enter back inside the mirror, because a lot of walls in games are solid from only one side, and this is an example of that. Even though we can't reach this door back there, it's funny that the wall back here isn't solid so you can jump beyond this door and even though this area looks like air but we know that it's solid you can make Mario fall asleep here if you stand here for long enough without moving you can also lower Mario's position to be a bit below the floor you can see that his shadow is still at the level where the floor normally is but if you edit Mario's position to make him too low below the floor, then Mario immediately dies. But even if we are a bit lower like this, still in a safe area where we don't die, we're still not able to enter this door. Something similar happens in the gardens outside of Princess Peach's castle. If you edit Mario's position to be a bit out of bounds here, then Mario dies. And the funny thing is, I had my position locked when I respawned, so instead of Mario falling down and healing like he normally does when you die, Mario is just floating here and he has only one slice of health left. Once you release Mario's vertical position, he falls, his life counter goes down by one, and that's when he finally heals up. I put Mario very high above Princess Peach's castle, and this is what happened. I tried to drop Mario so he would run out of health, but he was stuck up here, so I tried doing a ground pound. Mario started falling like this as the castle started to come into view, and right as Mario landed, I edited his position. So instead of dying, he's now floating around with zero health. We have got a dead Mario floating around. He won't actually respond until he touches the floor. He bounces off the wall at the edge of the level, he starts floating back, and when he finally reaches the ground again, that's when the Bowser laughing animation finally plays and Mario finally actually dies. It's funny to note that when Mario starts crawling, his model is brought up to be above his shadow until he stops crawling and he's below the floor again. And I was surprised to see that if you look into the mirror to see Mario's reflection while you're crawling, your reflection isn't a crawling Mario, it's just Mario's cap peeking out looking back at you. And since you can walk under the mirror without any problems now, you can also see that Mario and his reflection can walk through each other and overlap without colliding into each other and pushing each other back. Which is similar to what we saw in Super Mario Odyssey if we clone Mario, but different from Double Cherries in Bowser's Fury. And you might enjoy my videos about those topics after you watch this one. You might know that getting both of these coins under the bridge here spawns a 1-up mushroom normally. So let's see what happens if Mario dies, and before he fully responds, before he drops down and his life counter goes down and all of his health comes up, before he fully revives, let's lock his position, bring him down to underneath the bridge, and collect these coins while Mario is still technically not revived yet. I moved Mario onto the coin, but you can see that Mario still isn't collecting the coin. The coin is still there. And when I edited Mario's position to bring him over to the next coin, even though Mario doesn't actually collect the coins, he still spawns the 1-up, and you can hear the 1-up spawning. If we let Mario come back down and finally revive properly, and then we try to collect the coins, it doesn't spawn another 1-up mushroom for collecting the coins, because the 1-up mushroom was already spawned, because our position was where the coins were, and the 1-up already spawned. Even though we didn't collect the coins, it counts that we were in the right spot, and that spawned the 1-up mushroom. If you overlap these Marios around the mirrors here, you can make it look almost normal, but it kind of looks like we have a spider Mario over here. If you lock Mario's vertical position to the ground, it looks like he's in a high gravity training chamber where any kind of jumps that you do, Mario just can't get very far off the ground. 
You might know that Mario can dive and fall into sand and snow, but he can also dive headfirst through a sheet of ice before popping out after a moment. Looks like Mario has some trouble breaking the ice. And this is something that you can do without hacking the game. You might know that you can talk to Yoshi on the roof of Princess Peach's castle after getting 120 stars and he gives you a bunch of lives. I wanted to edit Mario's health so that he dies while talking to Yoshi to see what would happen. So I brought down Mario's health to zero while this dialogue box was open and Mario doesn't die while the dialogue box is open, he doesn't die after the dialogue box closes and Mario starts getting all the lives. And then we see a cutscene of Yoshi walking away and finally that is when Mario dies. And if the game value for Mario's health is locked at zero health, then Mario keeps losing lives and he doesn't get healed up when he responds like this. And if we test this while talking to a toad, the same thing happens. Mario doesn't die until after you close the dialogue box with the toad. And if you drop down Mario's health to zero while the dialogue box is open, and you heal him up before the dialogue box closes, and then you close the dialogue box, then Mario doesn't die and the game acts like Mario never dropped down to zero health here. You might know that there's a star in Super Mario 64 where you can hide behind a penguin to not have the wind blow you off this platform. But another way that you can get across is by climbing inside the penguin, because you can actually grab onto the top of this penguin as if it's a ledge. And this is something that you can do without hacking the game. You can do this in normal gameplay. There's a value in the game's memory that keeps track of how many lives 1-Up Mushrooms give you, which is normally 1, because a 1-Up Mushroom normally gives you 1 life. But if you edit this value to be 5, then you'll get 5 lives from a 1-Up Mushroom, so maybe it's like a 5-Up Mushroom. You can make this value higher to give you more lives, and you can make it so high that your lives go up higher than they normally can go. You can see fish in the aquariums outside of the level Jolly Roger Bay, but if you actually enter these aquariums with Mario, you can see that there isn't really any water in here, just fish and bubble effects. And this is something that you can do with normal gameplay without hacking the game, but it's pretty difficult because you'll have to do some lobby backwards long jumps to build up enough speed, and then you have to control yourself with that speed to get back here. There's one value in the game's memory that I accidentally edited because it was right next to the memory address for your health, and Mario started doing this. He's just floating around up in the air, and yeah, it's pretty funny to move around like this. You can jump, you can move around, you can walk through doors, and everything works just fine, and you can even walk right up to a toad and talk to them from up high. And if we make Mario die while he's bobbing around like this, he drops down like this after a moment he sits down. And when Mario responds, he bounces a bit like this still, before he gets up again and he keeps bobbing along. And one of the most interesting Super Mario 64 mods that I've played has to be Bowser's Fury in Super Mario 64. It's called Mario's Vacation Course 64, and you start off with only the ability to do dives. And as you gain more stars as you play through the game, you learn to jump, you learn to long jump, you learn to do double jumps, and you unlock more abilities as you get more stars. It was incredibly made, and it was so much fun, and I really recommend checking out that video if you'd like to see more. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day ahead of you, and take care everybody. Buddy.